So yeah, I would, I would agree. Not not very exciting levels. Okay, Neo Town. Actually, is that what it's called? It's called Neon Town. Okay, that might be a typo on the sign. And that's what I thought. My second big project. So all right, relatively early track or early attempt at a very big, elaborate one. I will say what I said in the menu, like because we're just starting off. Fireworks are a little too repetitive to be happening in place like that. I think just give them a little more delay or something and they'd probably look better. But other than that, I dig these visuals. This is a fun looking track so far. Let's see if it keeps it up. This intro segment is quite nice. All right, the music's actually just a short bit, so... I mean, to be fair, I paused for a while, so we'll see if we get a music trigger around when that would have faded out. See if we get something else, otherwise I'm gonna be rather disappointed. Okay, we get some obstacles, we're going, seeing more of the... lighting stuff up above. I feel like we're getting a little less cool neon stuff to look at, but... Okay, a little more. I do currently feel that the intro segment was the most interesting looking, which, to be fair, first impressions are important. You know, like the spinning planet? I, I actually do, too. I thought it was a, it's a fun prop. It's a little silly, but it's like, you know what? I actually like it. <laughs> okay, still no music change. And again, it's like we're getting out of the city. It's like there's a lot less to look at. It's just like everything is like slowly becoming less and less interesting as we go on. I'm like, ah, uh, it started so strong. Why must we go this way? Like, I know it can be hard to keep up that quality and level of detail and stuff, but it's like, mm, nah. nah, not the way it went and like losing the music, like sure. Hard to finish. You know, I, I totally understand. Like, it, it's it's hard to keep that level up, but it's just like... I can't... I can't... That doesn't make the track good or okay. It's like, yeah, it, it's definitely not easy. I'm not... I'm not saying it's like, oh, you're bad or anything. It's just like... I don't think it actually turned out to be a good track, unfortunately. Like I said, it started out really strong. I actually really like the beginning of this. It needs... I, I think the music... The music is actually decent. Though it might be easier just to pick a different music track, but it's like it needed a music transition to keep things going. It's just like everything just kind of fell off halfway through the track. And then it's just like, oh, okay. I, I guess we're out here and there's the end. I have lost all of my excitement and motivation. <laughs> so, yeah. Unfortunate. I, I did. I, there's a lot of things I liked in that. And like I said, and I like the menu version of it too. So what is this? Working sector, the B1 sector, almost restored, but it already looks good. Okay, another one of these. Part of that set with the restored gas town. Do we don't have any abilities? Like, I know if you're going for like the whole "Hey, city's repaired" theme, it's like no, we don't have hazards on the road. But it's like, come on. We need gameplay here. We need gameplay. I actually like this little turn through that tunnel. Like, Actually, that's not true. You need gameplay or you need a shit ton of spectacle. Like, you can get away with a really basic boring track if there's just absolutely wild stuff going on. This level is a little bit. This level has better visual interest with all, like, the moving flying ships and stuff. But I... I can already tell you right now, it's not enough to carry this track. It's just not enough. Again, I, re I think this person does quite good environment work. It's just like, their tracks need some serious work. And they need to like a uh, collab with someone, make some sweet environments and have someone help spice up the tracks or, or rebuild parts of it, but actually make something really cool. I mean, this part of the environment's a little like, eh, whatever. It's not bad, but it's um, definitely not great. But it's like, sectors are beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. 
cool story, bro. Thanks for the uh, guided door. I mean, if you're just gonna like show off your environments, like, I don't know, describe, make the description say that, and I will be more understanding of it. But as it is, you'd make a track in a cat Walton environment. Yeah, exactly. Like, I actually really like their environment work. They do some cool things. It's just like we need a track to go along with it. Like, I, I almost feel like they're limiting themselves too much with the thematic element and trying to make it like, yeah, everything's cool and peaceful and normal and you just drive because that's what normal cars do on a normal road. But it's like, that's not the game we're here for. <laughs> and, um, Micro Realm. I do not have the, um, the Pine Skip. Lovely. In fact, we don't have anything. Well, we have Boost, but... Like I said before, boost doesn't really count. You should only take away boost in very specific circumstances. And carefully. I mean, you could argue that for maneuvering thrusters too, but you know, jump, but you know, it's like... <laughs> I can understand the desire to do those things for the more traditional racing experience, but it's like... This ain't a traditional... No, the Cultured Realm 2.0! Oh, no, hold up. Um, question, has anyone played this track before? Do I need to quit out now? <laughs> Is this something that's okay to drive through live? <laughs> yes, Tribo has played this track, and... <laughs> Am, am I going to need to immediately shut down the stream and uh, delete, delete the recording if I drive through this gateway? <laughs> okay, that's that's fine enough. If it's not anything overly bad, I'll, I can drive through it real quick. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> yeah, they're obviously not good, but it's not anything you can't show. Or, you know. Yeah, that... Yeah, yeah. You know, we're just, we're just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna, mm, okay. Some people will like that. That's, um, you know, that's a, that's a matter of personal preference. I am, uh, not going to ask any further into that. <laughs> so, yes. I will say I'll, I'll appreciate the author has at least not wasted my time. We have gotten right to the point and now we are done with it and can move on with our lives. So, thank you. <laughs> Alcatraz by Sunship Games. Okay. <laughs> no comment. A recreation of The Rock from San Francisco Rush and Rush 2. Ah, oh, I like those games. Actually, I never really got into the mainline Rush series. I was mostly uh, Rush... What is it? 2049? You know, probably the spiritual inspiration for this way back when. So, you know, I like that for obvious reasons. <laughs> I think some of those had pretty neat tracks, so let's see how this does. We actually even have jumping and... Th Do we have wings? No, we don't. No, fair enough. Okay, we did get a cooldown. I like we got some beat match lighting going on. I approve. I saw an uncapped spine. You know, something to note to clean up if you want to make things look more polished. Please do. We Security. Got uh, some decent usage of props. Again, uncapped spline on the railing list to railing section. I know it actually is kind of annoying to make those trans- Oh, wait, that's an alternate route, isn't it? Oh, shoot. Oh, that's right. These games actually had some pretty awesome, like, secret shortcuts and alternate route things. Oh, I miss that. It's like, classic arcade nonsense. Oh, seeing that section there, I was like, oh, I- Love when games used to make tracks like that. Oh. Yeah, I appreciate this just for that already. <laughs> yeah. Is the arcade rush bullshit? It's like, 
It's like, yes, realistic driving racing track. Watch this random ass corkscrew tra road through the sky. Realistic. <laughs> and everyone's like, yeah, no, we, we know. It's okay. That's exactly what we're here for. <laughs> Yeah, I like this. I, I, basically, I like this. <laughs> it's got enough reason to have, like, you know, your distance abilities, even if they're not, like, super relevant all the time. It's like, yeah, I can still do stuff. And I actually like driving through this, even if it's a recreation from the arcade track. So what? It's, it's a good choice. I like it. And I want to play it again, because I do. <laughs> Also, again, we have a couple beat match lighting elements. I feel like they might be a little harsh, but it's still cool. I appreciate their existence. Okay, let's do this crazy ass random loop just because. Yeah. We God, that's right. These games actually had those freaking 90 degree back and forth turns to shift over at points. Ugh. <laughs> those I'm not a huge fan by, but it's definitely it's like, yep, yep, this is definitely one of those tracks I can recognize the style. Now let's go this way. We did the cool corkscrew last time. I have a feeling the corks are straight up slower, but it's cooler. Yeah, and we could have actually potentially gone across the top of that. Wait, did I miss the end zone because of that? Excuse me? Is I don't I don't remember having done a second lap last time. Are some like the cooldown trigger is not working now because I already used them. Uh oh. I don't remember having a overheating issue there last time. Hold up a second. Am I imagining things or did I see a cave back here? I did. I wonder if you had to do something to trigger this because I know some of the maps in these games you actually had to do special things to open some of the weird ass tunnel shortcuts like this. Wow, how far does this go? Huh, neat. Yeah, I just like the way these levels are designed. <laughs> Question is, can I actually... Okay, yeah, we're back here. Okay, we did not pass the finish line again. I was like, the next question is, can we be allowed to actually finish the track? <laughs> I, I feel like I missed the end zone somehow, which is, you know, that's something that probably needs to be fixed. Uh, yeah, the end zone is right there. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that you have to go up and it's not- Well, it looks like it's already down there. How the heck Can you just go under it if you're at ground level? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah. Did I already rate this up? I think I did. Okay, no. Because this- we're right here. What? It's- it's actually right there. What? Okay, that's a major level flaw, just gonna say right now. That's a bit of a problem. Yeah, that needs to be changed. But other than that, I want I've all of this level. This is great. So <laughs> that might be like a minor problem, you know? Just a little. Just a little. What is this? Evasion. Escape from the Alliance through cities, tunnels, and blocked roads. And then it gives us the time. Certain, you know, it's a little weird seeing that right up on the first line in the description, but you know what? I, I appreciate having that up front. <laughs> uh oh. Oops. I somehow got my fingers misaligned off my arrow keys. I was pressing control instead of left. <laughs> I was like, why am I not turning? What's happening? Left, please. 
<laughs> and then I look down, I'm like, oh, I'm not pressing left. That would be why. <laughs> Ooh, what the hell? That was, that was a nice uh, set piece moment. I like that. Evasion is epic. It's off to a strong start. I'll give it, I'll tell you that. We. You'll never catch me, blimp man. You and your foolish zeppelins will never catch my spaceship car. I like that shot of the blimp coming overhead. Oops. Bit of a sneaky jump there. Or a bit of a cheeky jump, I suppose. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, uh. <laughs> okay, I reacted that a little bit long. I was trying to see what people were saying. <laughs> Oh, is this someone's first map? Hold on. I shouldn't be stopping in the middle of this, but you, you got me curious. Uh, where is evasion? Oh, this is my first attempt at creating a distance level. Oh, nice. So design knowledge is next to none. If you find any problems, feel free to leave a comment on the workshop page. I'll try to fix it. Map is three zones to determine. Yeah, this is all I can already say. This is actually very good stuff for a first attempt. Like. It was good, good effort, and, you know, pretty good, pretty decent design sense overall for a first attempt. Like, this is a, this is a very strong first level, for sure. Uh-oh. You know what? Fair enough. I could have seen that coming. It's a little hard to see that turn, but, you know, it's fair that I could see the blockers there. Hmm. I am curious if that portal is actually I can backtrack through it for a secret, or if that's supposed to be the exit. Because if it's a, if it's a first track, it's entirely possible they did not, either could not or did not reasonably spend the time. Yeah, okay, it doesn't. Okay, I don't seem to go back through the portal, but it does, it doesn't, it is a portal exit there that's not hidden. Which, you know, that, that's, that's reasonable for first track, that's, that's actually perfectly fine. <laughs> something I would say, something to, you know, hide that or do something to make it not look like I can portal back into it. If you really want to polish it, but yeah, it's like, overall decorations and stuff and all the environment work is pretty good quality like it's like uh, i will say i can tell it's obviously not flawless or perfect or anything. it's not like the most amazing thing i've ever seen but it's pretty darn solid i am pretty impressed like this is well above average <laughs> essentially like not even considering newness <laughs> of or inexperience of the creator you know i'm just gonna go straight because i yeah i'm not gonna oh gosh darn it okay this section's a little weird but it might also just be like i'm not that great at air control hold on do i have wings no i don't okay i was like hold on am i supposed to use wings to configure this out <laughs> Or can I just drive off of this? Can. Okay. That might be the trick I was missing. It looked like I might have been able to go up above it even. Hmm. Ooh, and we even got nice cables and wires to decorate the tunnel. I like that. Like, they're, they're doing a lot of pretty decent environment work to, like, to spice up like segments that could otherwise end up feeling pretty dull and boring like i like this i will say using the yellow caution tape before the yellow jump barrier not great because it it makes it a little visual more visually confusing to understand read that as an actual hazard we've gone into spooky time all of a sudden all right i'm not sure if this is section two or three this might be two the tunnels yeah, so that, that choice of the yellow caution tape followed by a bunch of yellow obstacles, I would say is not a great one, but... Like, yeah, there, there are a few points where the obstacles are a little iffy, but mostly... Oh. It's an interesting symbol on my car. I guess it's supposed to be like a virus-looking thing. 
And yep, we have definitely gone into virus crazy death trap bullshit. <laughs> Maybe going a little too hard on it compared to the rest of the level. Uh oh, what the? Um. Hmm. What was I supposed to do about that? Oh. Okay, yeah, that's not the most clear. I don't care so much for that. Is that going to bust the pipe? Oh, that's cool. I mean, I question the engineering that built a pipe through the blast doors, but <laughs> visually that was sick. <laughs> like, that was badass, but I'm like, who the hell built that? <laughs> to be fair, I could actually see that happening in real life still, too, so it's... Like, that's not saying it's unrealistic. I'm just saying someone's in trouble and is a dumbass. <laughs> yeah, this is like, this is using a lot of stuff that's well beyond, like, intro level track creation. Uh oh. Yeah, that there, that's very hard to read what's coming on, especially with the dropper drone here. Because, like, dropper drones, like, even if you, like, really don't need to keep your eye on them all the time until they're ready to fall, it's like, you, they, they make you feel like you do, especially since their drop times can be variable, but it's like, I, I do not like this here. This is too much going on trying to pull my attention away from the actual immediate hazards, and how the fuck long is this thing gonna follow me? Stop it! <laughs> Go away or just explode me already. <laughs> oh, did it? Oh. Oh, what? Uh, oh? Oh, okay. I am really confused by that end. I, I know the text on the car was probably explaining it. I saw something about that, but it's like, I can't read that while driving. Or I can't, like, read it properly. I'm just like, oh, oh. It's like, oh, illegal car location. And I'm like, oh, this is a death trap. I did the wrong thing. And then it's like, oh, no, you win. I'm like, oh, oh. And yeah, if you jump to the other road, you go to the... Yeah, I, I, I figured I was supposed to jump to the other road. So I was like, okay, I see obstacles. I don't want to jump right into the rollers. I'm going to wait a bit. And then I'm like, oh, I waited too long. And then it's just like, oh, but you won anyways. I'm just like... Huh? Uh, overall, this is a, this is a track with a lot of flaws, but it's doing so much right. This is like, I, this is not what I, I don't consider this a flawed masterpiece, but it's like in that range where it's like, yes, there are real problems. Everyone recognize it. It's like, there are significant issues with this track, but it's also doing so much right, it outweighs that pretty easily. <laughs> Do like it catches you better than getting set back far enough. Yeah, no, I appreciate that it's not just, ha ha, you were distracted and drove into the death pit, you lose. Like, I would have been annoyed at that. But having that go straight into end, I'm just like, I'm just confused now. <laughs> I'm not angry about it, I'm just confused. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is a, this is a really, this is pretty incredible for a first time track. I, that's basically, yeah. I would honestly, I would really like to spend more track time on this track right now, but unfortunately I, I actually do have a time limit tonight, so we need to move on. What is this? Basket. Egg day, egg day, egg day. Okay, Easter track. Gotcha. <laughs> we do have wings. Okay. Oh, overshot that. Get the bunny hologram. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I don't... I don't know if I could say this is good as a standalone track, but it's a fun little thing. Actually, no. This should be a challenge track. If this was in the challenge category, I think it would actually be good. Like, this is, a, this is a fun little holiday celebration thing, but I don't think I would recommend it outside of that. I think if it was in the challenge category, I could reasonably say, like, yeah, it's better if you play it in season, but it's like, you can still do it. This is a fun little, like, challenge thing, like, learn some air control and stuff. 
but as a sprint i'm like mm, not quite enough here i think this is i think this is like a borderline recommend you know what i will just because it's fun theme and stuff but i feel like this is much better suited in the challenge category It's got fun music. Uh, Glass Realm from Project Accelerator Series. Oh, is this also the one that had a skip? Let me see. Nobody plays challenge, though. Ye uh, yeah, but it's like you still want tracks in the appropriate categories. If somebody likes a track, they'll go play challenge for it. Okay, was I... Oh, wait, hold on. Created it to look more better and have different paths to take. Yeah, for some reason, I was thinking this was actually like a remake edit of like, what was it Transparent Realm or something? But I'm like, no, this is actually something totally different. I don't really like the water splash sound effect being used for these boosters. It's probably, it's not technically a bad choice, but it's like, as a longer player, it's like that sound effect signif signifies certain things that feels wrong to have on a booster. As a standalone level, it's not technically bad, but it's like, hmm, I don't like that. <laughs> it does not work for me. The visuals are really cool, though. I really dig this track. Oh, we're actually gonna drive? No, we're not. Yeah, this is this is really pretty to look at. Uh, oh, that was a card. I wasn't clear. I was like, that. What kind of hazard is that? <laughs> I do have jump. I just guess I pressed it too late there. So, yeah, I don't know. Wait, I do have wings. I just have jump temporary disabled? I'm confused, because I pressed jump and I got the error sound. Huh. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, I can appreciate that, yes, sprint is the default mode that literally everyone plays, but still, it's like... If we make tracks suited for challenge and put them in challenge, then people will go to challenge when they want that kind of track. <laughs> Or alternatively, make it a sprint and a challenge track, so you know you can play it in either mode. So I feel like it is much better suited for challenge mode. So at least being able to play it in challenge mode, I'd be like, I feel better about that. So this is really funky and weird to navigate visually. I'm oh what? Okay, I'm confused what I did wrong there. I was going to say, I seem to be navigating this fine, so all right, I can't complain too much, but I'm like, what was I supposed to actually... Am no, I can't jump. I was like, do I ride up on a wall here? Okay, let me go a different way. God, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. This, this part's an issue. Because I don't understand what my navigational cues are supposed to be. This looks like a dead ending. Okay. Wait. What? Hmm. I guess I understand. Most most people play a uh, sprint. Like, it's that's fair but it's still better suited for challenge. Okay, how do I get... Mm. I'm sure there must be a pathway through this. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what where I'm trying to get, and it's hard enough to understand what I'm even looking at here. I'm going all the way out? All tracks are now menus. Yes. This is clearly the solution to... Okay, seriously, what am I doing here? Why? What is this? 
Oh, I saw a card thing. That's probably what I'm supposed to do, but still, what the hell? I don't care if this is accurate to the show or whatever. I want to be able to drive it in a sane manner. Um, sure, but where am I now? Wait. Okay. <laughs> wow, that's confusing. That needs work. I actually really liked the level right up to that point. I actually still kind of like it. I, I don't think I can in good faith say I recommend this level with the way it ends, but... Uh, if that was if that was like a little easier to understand or more intuitive or something i would definitely th give that a thumbs up because i really like the rest of that that was just a really a, a visual treat and gameplay was not bad either but that end is just like oh no oh no mazes and distance are bad even worse when you can't tell what the hell is going on or what you're looking at <sighs> Oy. all right where are we Maybe there's a skip or something. Yeah, maybe, but even if there's a skip, that's like, no, that section sucks. It needs to be fixed, even if you can skip it. The fact that once you're in it, you're stuck in it. Is like, no, no, don't. <sighs> okay, we are actually on the last track, and I'm somewhat afraid <laughs> of deck bus. Oh god, what is this frame rate? Oh no. It's like desert bus, but you chase your steam. Oh no. And it's got terrible frame rate. Steam deck reservation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what? You know what? The theming for this is amusing enough to justify its existence. I am not going to play very much of this, and you're still insane for finishing this if it's actually desert bus length, but it's funny. <laughs> Based on my frame rate, I'm going to guess it actually might be desert bus length. It's 27 minutes. Yeah, I'm not doing this for sure. I'll drive it for a little while while I ramble about this, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least we got some good music, but I will say the road, the road needs to slowly turn slightly to be more like desert, uh, the original desert bus, so that, that you have to constantly s slowly adjust yourself. <laughs> that that's that's what this really needs. <laughs> also, does the steam deck actually get away if I slow down? Yes, it does. No, my reservation. It would kind of be funnier if it actually did slow down, but you know what? That that is actually considerably more complicated to pull off for a cheap joke. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not a cheap joke, but for obviously a joke track. I'll sit here and vibe to the music for a few minutes because this is our our final track. I do need to be going, but yeah. Wait, oh, I can't read the whole thing. No! Yes, it's a PC. <laughs> I saw something about when will something something Steam Deck something something something, but I couldn't read it all. I am disappointed. Next on the car. I wonder, do I explode if I go off the road? Yes. Good. I approve. <laughs> That's how it should be. <laughs> and now there's a reason to play the whole thing. See, technically, yes, there's a reason, but it's not enough of a reason. So, yeah. <laughs> Easter eggs aren't just for Easter. Indeed.
Uh, yeah, so we had some nice tracks. And you know what? That actually was not a terrible note to end on. That was amusing enough that you're like, yeah, you know what? I actually don't regret playing that. <laughs> that was that was fun for a little bit at least. No, no, I don't. I don't think I'm ever actually going to finish that track. Prob. There's, so there's a considerably large chance that's a no. <sighs> oh, I like that scene on basket. Oh, is this a? Is the level on a top of a giant Easter egg basket filled with like the fake grass stuff? It looks like it might be, and that's awesome. I almost wish that was a menu. Honestly, it could that could make a good menu level. But yeah, uh, that was fun. 